Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm so a lot of you have this question of should you or should you not go into the bonus section? So I think that's something that every every bit side aspirant has a problem with. Should you or should you not go into bonus questions? So what, let me tell you what bonus question actually is. Let's say you finish 130 out of 130 questions, then you get a chance to get into the bonus questions. So bonus question is basically a section where you can get extra marks. Basically, you'll get 12 extra questions and being in bits planning i've seen many of the people over here they are people who attempted the bonus question and it's generally a very very good idea to get into bonus question because statistically speaking the bonus questions are on the easier side as compared to the normal questions so when should you attempt bonus questions and when should you not let's take a mathematical perspective on this and let's try to analyze how many questions you should attempt and how many questions should you guess should you or should you not get into bonus questions let's start, let's get started in BITSAT, there is a marking scheme of plus 3 and minus 1, which means if you, for every question that you get wrong, you'll be given a punishment of minus 1 marks. So many people think that, okay, like, let me just separate random probability, and let's say that out of 9, I've solved 90 questions, there are 40 questions remaining. So let me just say that, okay, one for the questions, it might be right, right? Because the probability of getting one question right, since all the questions are single correct, the probability that I'll get one fourth of them right is 25%. And the probability of getting the other questions wrong might be 75% so I'll just, I'll just be like the net comes out to zero see but this is not the case for all times because there's something called as probability of large numbers right because only in such cases can you assume a distribution of a uniform distribution of 25% for each question so in, a, in an exam like BITSAT you cannot directly assume that 25% of the questions might be A 25 questions might be B there is no fixed distribution of that sort so make sure you have to depend on your skills and your problem solving ability to get ahead let's solve it case by case let's say you've solved over 120 questions 115 questions so the worst possible case that that can happen to you is you can get 15 questions wrong so that's minus 15 and let's say you've you've gone to the bonus and you've attended questions let's say you get around seven or eight of them right that's on average you'll get seven or eight of them right so that's a net positive for you guys and here i've assumed the worst possible scenario that is you'll get all the questions that you're guessing wrong so probability of that happening is also on the lesser side so if you've solved more than 115 questions it makes sense for you to guess the remaining 10 to 15 questions guys okay? so make sure you take targeted guesses don't just guess randomly and make sure you try to get into the bonus section because that will help you get into get a boost your score by at least 10 to 15 marks and he'll help you get a much much better branch or better college for instance let us take the next instance that is the critical instance like let's if you've solved close 100 to 115 questions in that case what do you do here the situation is a little tricky right so here what i would advise you to do is try to make sure to eliminate options as much as possible and try to get it to at least 115 questions if you're able to at least eliminate one or two options that's a pretty good deal because at least then the probability of that will be around 50 percent you if you're let's say you're confused between option c and option d and i think you should at least mark one of them because the probability of getting one of them right is 50 percent in that case and let's assume the worst possible case, right? Let's assume the worst possible case of, let's say you've attempted 100 questions and you're getting all the 100, all the 30 questions remaining wrong. So, again, the probability of that happening is on the lesser side, but then to take the worst possible scenario, you'll get minus 30. And let's say in the bonus round, you get around six to seven questions right. So that'll again lead, lead to minus nine, but let's say you've taken some targeted questions you've taken you've eliminated options properly you've taken the best possible scenario then you can at least break even or for example let's say you've solved 110 questions 105 to 110 questions in that case you should definitely try to eliminate as many questions options as possible and try to mark in such a manner that the odds are in your favor and at the same time you should try to get into bonus as well because many of the rankers here they they have attended bonus and bonus is a high risk high reward decision and if you get into bonus and make sure you don't do random guessings inside the bonus questions whatever you know for sure make sure you attempt that and do not guess randomly inside bonus this third section third category of people are people who solve less than 100 questions like 95 90 questions let's assume the scenario for them let's say you've solved 90 questions and you're randomly guessing 40 questions and the worst possible scenario is minus 40 and let's say by god's grace and luck you get minus 30 is a minus 40 and you're trying to make it up in the bonus let's say given that you've not solved 
40 questions in a normal section i don't think you'll be able to solve more than 5 to 6 questions in the bonus round as well so for you make sure you do not take risks at all because given that you've solved less than 100 questions in the normal sections trying to attempt bonus and trying to randomly guess questions in will lead to massive disasters so if you solve less than 100 questions make sure you do not take random guesses and make sure to maximize accuracy and having interacted with so many people from bits i'm from bits planning go and having gotten more than 340 marks in bits at my personal experience is what i attempted bonus questions and i got around 7 to 8 questions right and that's how i got a score of 340 and 340 is a pretty solid score so make sure to think critically and make sure to maximize your score as well and whenever you're inside the examination hall if you're done with all the questions just try doing a random probability how many marks you'll get if you take up the bonus questions then if you don't take up the bonus questions that will really help you out in coming up with the strategy of whether or not should i get into the bonus question because unnecessarily trying to take risks especially if you saw less than 100 questions it's it's a blunder i would say so make sure to stay away from marking randomly if you solve less than 100 questions the only people who would definitely should solve get in the bonus are the people who have solved more than 115 questions and if you solve less than 100 please don't go into bonus and for people from between 100 to 115 questions who solved make sure to eliminate as many options as possible inside the question and get it to 115 and then start guessing so that you can maximize your score because you are in the border you are on the edge line so make sure to think critically and maximize your score i hope this helps thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you hey guys we are anirudh with us anirudh is a very pro ml guy on campus and he got a score 316 in bits at 2020 right yeah and this sukrit is a sukrit is a pro basketball player and he got a score 358 So so how many bonus questions did you attempt? I mean how many questions did you guess before going to bonus? Okay so before going to bonus questions I attempted or guessed somewhere around 20 to 25 questions okay. and the bonus help questions helped me boost my grade a lot score a lot so yeah <laughs> too sorry and what about another how many questions did you get this I I guess around 5 to 10 questions and yeah that, that's always a good idea to always go into bonus Yeah, so I mean, I guess around 14 questions you get going to bonus, and there's a chance that you might go get negatives in that. But then, if you do bonus questions well, that'll compensate for the mistakes that you make. All the best to you. Bye bye. Mara, you take selfie and you. <laughs> <laughs> the CS cameraman. <laughs> I didn't get a selfie. Three forty. You guess twenty five. Yeah. And you didn't go as safe. Yes. Like yeah. I want your. No, no. Come God, you pray to. No, no. Basically, like, how many did you guess? I guess fifteen. I guess around.